Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link and don't forget to download as soon as we finish. Today or now our topic is about politics, politics and war and peace and bloodshed. The topic is ugly and the people we will talk about they are very ugly. Uh, you know it's not a secret that uh, me myself I voted for uh, Trump and the reason I voted for him and I mentioned that many times in USA, we don't have really choices between two good or like one good and one is bad. We have a choice between two bad. And we have to choose between them. Let us say the bad, the more ugly, the devil and his assistant maybe. So we are not really voting for someone he is the good guy as long as we are voting for someone he is less bad than the rest. And I mentioned that many times. Let us say in America we vote between two donkeys. One is a mule, he will hit you in your maybe your balls, sorry to say, or somebody will hit you in your ass. Both of them they, they will hit you. And we heard just uh, yesterday how Donald J. Trump, the hero, the smart, the genius, he wanna make America great again. He decided to withdraw 50 soldiers from the Syrian army, Syrian borders. I mean, this guy is called, talking about we, we are paying a lot of money, we are spending a lot. It is just 50 soldiers. Erdogan will not dare to get a close because we have only 50 soldiers. So, Donald J. Trump, who is trying to make excuse about saving America from paying money, he is just withdrawing actually he is not even withdrawing he's moving them from here to there which means it's the same coast he did not even bring bring them back USA he just told them change your position and let the which means let the Turkish come open the door for them. open the gate the one in the gate he opened that gate for them this is exactly what this idiot he did so all the bloodshed now is happening in Syria for the Kurdish and the Christians because many people do not know we keep talking saying Kurdish Kurdish the fact most of people there they are Christians you see if we go here in the map many people do not know that there is many cities in this area are Christian cities they are not even Kurdish cities and the stupid Trump is giving up not only the Kurdish the Christians there and not to forget to mention that thousands and thousands of Kurdish they converted to Christianity lately. So Trump, he is saying to Erdogan, and I will show you what Erdogan he posted in his tweet, just to show you what is the nature of this war. This is a religion war. This is not against the Kurdish. The Kurdish, since a while ago, they choose not to be Muslim no more. Regardless if they converted to Christianity or not, they don't care for a prayer, their women don't wear hijab, they don't pray, they don't even, they, they, they make fun of Islam. Everybody knows. And look what Tayyip Erdogan, he said in his tweet. This is the official page of Erdogan and he is posted in Arabic. Those who don't speak the language, I will translate for you. Erdogan saying, أقبل كافة أفراد الجيش المحمدي I kiss all the members of the Muhammadan army those who they are partners or like they are involved in the operation of the spring of peace and before the attack Erdogan, he was reciting Al Quran, the Quran, the chapter of victory. The chapter of victory. So Erdogan, he is calling the members of his army attacking the Kurdish, Ajayshul Muhammadi, the Muhammadan army. So we can say proudly that Donald J. Trump, he opened the door 
of Syria to the Mohammedan army to attack the Kurdish and the Christians and the stupid Donald J Trump who I voted for him and I have no choice but to vote for him again because as I said if we don't vote for this donkey there's a bigger donkeys we have one of the three choices send thousands of troops what a big stupid idiot you do not need to send anything it was just 50 soldiers there they are stopping Erdogan from entering stop lying to people Erdogan is shouting for more than a year I want to enter I want to enter but he don't dare because in in order to get in he have to go through the 50 American soldiers 50 and they are not even 50 they are 49 You do not need to send thousands of soldiers. They are 50. They are already there. When military hit Turkey very bad, hardly uh, 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 financially with sanctions. I mean, now you want to remember you. But look what happened to this coward. He just heard today that all the churches in USA are extremely upset from the act of Trump. There's big meetings happening as we speak right now be between the Christian leaders in USA from all churches to discuss how Trump he betrayed the Christians in that area. And now Trump, and you will see because he is a potato, all what he care for is how to win the election. He don't care really for the Kurdish. He don't care for the church. He don't care for the Christians. He don't care for what is good. All of them, they are the same. They care how to win the election. That's the whole story. He want to look like in the front of American eye. You see, I brought, uh, you know, I'm bringing my soldiers back. But now he noticed that he is going to lose the Christian support in his coming election. So now he start talking about options. What we will do? Tell me what I should do. Hit Turkey, send thousands of soldiers. What I would do? If you read this uh, comment here, Trump he is trying to wash his hands from the blood of the Kurdish says I want to help them I want to be there but tell me what to do which one which one we do hmm which one send thousands he has given us the Christians in USA he has given us a three options and by the way he making this comment specifically to the Christians because if he lose the Christian support in USA he is not going to be the president. Everybody know that. And by the way, this is the game. I mean, Obama, who in the time of the election, he held the Bible, suddenly he became a believer. He go to the church every Sunday. Him, Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden, me, bite me. And all of them, all this gang, thieves and criminals, all of them, they go to the church before the election only. Suddenly, before the election, they are believers. Hillary Clinton always she hold the Bible in her hand. I mean, she don't leave it from her hand. To the point, there is a story that Hillary Clinton she hit her maid with the Bible. See how good she is. So now he is trying to wash his hands from the blood of Christ, saying, "Okay, it's not me." I'm not the one who did you to give me three choices as if it is us who choose as if it is me and you we are the president you do not need to do any of this just keep the 50th soldiers there right now if he want this idiot he can make one phone call and Erdogan will stop immediately Erdogan is just a, it's like a cat him and his army, they are little cats. They don't dare to stand in the front of USA for a second. Those people, they are heroes in the front of the weak. This is why for more than a year and a half, Erdogan, he want to go. I want to do this. I want to do this. There is only 50 soldiers in the borders. They are American. That's all. But they don't dare. So Trump, all what you need to do, no, no, I'm not talking about let the Kurdish solve their own problem. This is not the issue now. 
You see, this is not my issue. The, the, the Kurdish, they made a lot of mistakes, stupid mistakes. Number one is to be to trust the American to protect them. That's number one mistake. I mean, don't you learn from history? Just to show you how stupid the Kurdish and anyone who trusts the American to protect them. And I am an American. and I, I, I was in the USA Army too. Is it the American themselves? Is the same one who support the same one who is attacking the Kurdish today? Yes. More than six hundred million dollars was given by Obama to the same group. Now Erdogan is using he he have eighty thousand terrorists from what they call them the Syrian rebel. The fact they are mujahideen, they are Islamic fighter from the Muslim Brotherhood. The money, the establishment of this organization, it is from the American money. So look at this madness. They are the one who armed them. They are the one who trained them. They are the one who spent their money on them. They are the one who promoted them. And now Trump he is saying, it's not my fault. What I can do? This is the meeting of Obama with all his gang deciding to arm and to fund the Mujahideen in Syria, the terrorists. That is the truth. And not only that, John McCain, the filthy John McCain, who is he's dead now, he went all the way to Syria and he met with all the big terrorists. And he took selfie with them, including the head of ISIS, who became the caliphate leader. This is the truth. So how in the world the Kurdish, they trusted America, the one who sponsored the terrorist, to protect them from the terrorist? Do you understand me? <laughs> That's mean you're a fool. And not only that, Trump, he saw the Kurdish just last year. Remember when, he, when the attack at the city of Afrin? And I said, no way, Trump, he will let them. But he did. He sold them. So he sold you before. He will sell you today. Today, nothing changed. Those people, you see, the, the, the issue is we as a Middle Eastern, and I'm talking about myself as a Middle Eastern, we think differently. You know, like they are, if somebody says, I'm your friend, etc. Oh, you're my friend. You know, he will stand. No, there's, you know, in America, there's nothing. It's called a friend. It's all, There's nothing personal. It's business. It's business. Donald J. Trump himself, he used to donate to Hillary Clinton and Billy Clinton and uh, to Democrat. He donate for them in the election. So what, at that time he was Democrat? No. He donate to the Republican. He was Republican? No. He's a businessman. As simple as that. And now, just to show you more hypocrisy, Netanyahu is worried about the Kurdish. Okay, Netanyahu, why you don't arm the Kurdish? Give them anti, <coughs> give them anti-craft missiles. Can't you? He will not. So the Kurdish, they trusted the Israeli too. Stupid. Here we go. The Israeli are watching, and they watch before the the the, 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 the army of Erdogan taking over Afrin, and the Israeli did not do anything to help you. So why you trusted them again? So now your friends, the American and the Israeli, they are watching and they are crying over your grave. And Erdogan is praising the terrorist who he sent to kill you. And look at this. The Turkish armed forces together with the Syrian National Army. There's a Syrian National Army. What is that? Those are the Mujahideen, the terrorists from Al-Qaeda and from the Muslim Brotherhood and ISIS. The one who gave him this name is Erdogan. 
he, he gathered the terrorist groups. He says, listen, we are going to make an army, call it the National Syrian Army. But all of us, we knew who they are. And now, supposedly, he is going to fight the terrorist. Erdogan, the terrorist, he is going to fight the terrorist. And who are the ter terrorists? The PKK and the YPG. When the fact he is the biggest terrorist, him and the Prince of Qatar, who always sponsor him in any attack, in any terrorist activities. No, National Syrian Army, those are not the, the, the army of the Assad. Those are not an army of the Assad. They are not an army. Those are really terrorists. The army of the Assad, many people do not know. You see, most of people are ignorant. They keep talking to you, to, you know, teaching you about the Assad. He's a bad guy. Yes, he's a bad guy. He's a dictator. But the Assad, he is not bad when it's come to freedom of belief. The Christian, they go to their church. The Muslim, they go pray. Just talk about, don't talk about him. He's a dictator. But the shoes of the Assad is better than the biggest sheikh of the Muslim Brotherhood. So they wanted to replace the Assad, who in his time, women, they can go swim in the beach. The one who want to drink, he can drink. The one who want to smoke, he can smoke. The one who want to worship, he can worship. And they want to replace him by Al-Qaeda. This is exactly the plan of America. This is the, this is the truth. But the stupid thing is that you watch Fox News, you watch CNN, and they tell you that the Assad must go. Okay, must go. Who's going to come? Al-Qaeda. Thank you very much. This is the whole story. And if the Assad goes, all the Christians in Syria, they will be slaughtered. And, you know, America, why why America will care for Christians in, in Syria? Let them die. You see, I saw a comment of an idiot. He's attacking Trump. He says, uh, Trump, he hand out uh, the, the, the Syria to the Russian. This is what they are worried about. They are worried who is going to be the master of those Syrian. They are not worried about the Syrian. You see, he's not upset for the death of many innocent people. They will die in this attack of Erdogan. Or what this guy, the, the politician who's attacking Trump, is worried about the Syrian. They will have a new master. We should be the master. It's a human trafficking business. Who wanna who wanna control those people? Who is going to be the American or the Russian? But those are human. Those are people. They have their own. They, they need their freedom. They do not need masters. They are sick of you as master. No, they they want to be masters. Did the Kurdish have other options? Yes, they have other options. Always you have other options and never never trust a foreigner to protect you Never You bring somebody coming from not overseas coming from the other seas from the behind the seven seas and You trust him to protect you But this guy if he lose five ten soldiers he will withdraw Just ten, he will leave Instead of having supporters from the local, they fooled the Kurdish and they made them, they convinced them, believe that we are going to make a state for you. We are going to give you half of Syria. And the Kurdish, they believe the lie. Nobody will allow that to happen. The Syrian, they will not allow it. The Turkish will not allow it. The Iranian will not allow it. The Iraqi will not allow it because this is a threat for everybody. In the top of that, they don't have the right to do that. You see this area here? This is how the American did it fool the Kurdish. All this yellow area is under the control of the Kurdish. But not because the Kurdish are strong. This is the control of USA. Anyone try to exceed this line, the US will hit. As simple as that. The Assad regime, he tried to go inside, they will hit him. And he is no match, not him, not, neither his army. And the Russian, they are not willing to go in, in a war with the, with the American in order to occupy that land. How they can? Well, they thought, they told them that, they told them we will give you here this area. This is why they create their own government now in, in, the, in the north of Syria. They have a government, you know, a very foolish decision because 
You see, if you have a government, if you try to create a country, and all the countries around you in the borders, they don't, they, they will never approve it. Then you are dead government. You are dead country. How how you can fly? How you can go? Where 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 your product will come from? How you import? How you export? Nothing. The reason until now they have like uh, they are either in, like able to breathe because the American they are the one who is pumping the money and the the, the weapon and etc. Otherwise the Kurdish they cannot do that. So the Kurdish they've been used by the American to fight ISIS and now Trump he is. They're taking 50 soldiers only. That will make him look like he is a person who is, uh, you know, he is not uh, for war. The Iranian, they hit an airplane in the Persian Gulf. What to Trump? He did nothing. Why? Because he want to look like I am not into war. I'm not like George Bush. I'm not like Obama who hit Afghanistan with more than, you know, 7 million bombs in his time. I will not do that. So he do nothing and now Erdogan he knew that this guy is an idiot always going to take him it's just one phone call and Trump he says okay I will let them go okay come on come over one phone call like this guy he don't have a whole meeting with the government he did not hold a meeting with the Congress to take a decision or the Senate no just phone call 
This is telling you that he is an officially an idiot. He is not trustworthy. We cannot trust his decision. He he think he is Caesar. Hey, don't tell me about American politics. Why you think you know American politics, and I don't not know why you you have a brain. I don't have a brain, Mister John, my friend. No, I know American politics. And I think about it carefully, especially I know about what is there and I know what is here. You never been there. You never been there. You do not know how they think there. And now, until now, you do not know how they think here. Nobody care for you if you are an American or not. All what they care for is to win the election. After they win the election, they will dump you in the basket. Just wait until Trump, he wins for the second time, and then you will see a new Trump. I assure you, after Trump, he won the coming election, Trump, he will start bombing. Because now he is not worried about winning the election again. You will see. Count my words. Trump, after he wins the election, he will go for war. If he could not find a war, he will create one. And now Erdogan is making fun of this guy who called himself Trump. And don't tell me that Trump and his team, they don't know what Erdogan is posting in Arabic, that he kissed the head of every Mohammedan army member. He called his army, which is containing Syrian and Turkish, Mohammedan army. And not only that, actually, if I go down, in the comment, you will see one of the followers and the lovers of Erdogan. She is saying, soon we will enter Israel. Do you see it? Soon what? Soon we will enter Israel. That is the plan. Those are the ones who support Erdogan. Do you think this is against the Kurdish only? This the plan is big. It's bigger what you think. This Erdogan, he was from the first day he came to the office, he is planning to make himself a caliphate. And those people, they are not hiding it. They are posting it even in Twitter in front of you.
This is stupid. He's a kid. He's not a man. He do his best just to win the election. How I can win it? It doesn't matter. And now he decided to sold the Christians and the Kurdish to Erdogan. And as you see, the Turkish uh, the supporters of uh, Erdogan, they are praising Erdogan and saying, saying, soon we will enter Israel. What a shame! And actually, when I heard, when I heard, uh, uh, you know, Trump saying that he was a draw, I could not believe it. How 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 how, uh, how trashy this man is! And as I said, I, I voted for him, and next year I have to vote for him. Even now, after all what he did, I have to vote for him. This is the drama. I mean, we have no better. Either we vote for Trump, or we get someone like those Democrat. Someone she is saying we need to eat our kids. Have you ever heard of somebody saying eat your kids? Eat our kids? We have to eat our kids. Madness, crazy, or Bernie Sanders, this guy, the, the, the high, the cocaine guy. The guy who make promises doesn't make any sense anyhow. A woman, she asked him a question, don't you know that eating beef Beef is the reason for uh, global warming. Shouldn't you uh, 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 forbid beef? He want to forbid beef. And the funny, Bernie Sanders in the in that day he was making a steak. When she asked him, he was in the in the in the barbecue. <laughs> we are going to forbid beef. So either we vote for Trump, Trump with all the stupid things he do. Still, he is way better than the other side. I mean, those people in the Democrat, they swim in the ocean of stupidity. Trump, he have a boat in the top of it. Like he is not even 1% of the stupidity of the Democrat. This is why we have to vote for Trump. We have no choice. Well, what was the other choice? We don't have. We don't. Do we have a third party? Democrats are not anti-Christian. Democrat is anti themselves, and Democrat is the Democrat are just weird people who do not know what what they should do, or what they care for. Let us win the election. What do you want? Just ask me. What do you want? I will say. I promise you. Especially if the promise is is weird. Hillary Clinton. She speak about the poor. And the wedding of her daughter it costs millions of dollars where you get the money from how somebody work all his life in the office public office he have this money where the money coming from trump he speak about uh, uh you know uh, racism but this guy he ignited racism when he was in the office racism went so high because of him and he never helped the black community, not even 1%. Trump, he did the opposite. So none of them, neither Trump, neither them, is doing things for for because it's right. I believe strongly all of them, they are the same. All of them, they are garbage. And they fool us just to vote. But at least Trump, he do. Like he promised you, he do what he promised. He promised that the, the, the community of the black people would get help. He did. That's good. Even his promise, maybe it was not to help them, but he keep his promise. He helped, you know, he helped the, the black community. He helped the, the Spanish. He helped many. I mean, the employment now is in the lowest, maybe in 50, 60 years in USA. He created special, like, uh, 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 territory where there's no interest for businesses if they open there just to help the black community. That's when, That's a very smart plan. But at the end of the day, I believe that the goods they do 
it's just to win the election. Now, I cannot examine the heart of people, but I think all of them are the same. Yeah, but you forgot the Ottoman Empire was the Caliphate Empire. You see, uh, Nada, you are not really you 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 are not much versed in the in the Islamic history. The Ottoman, the Ottoman Empire was not really an Ottoman Empire; it was a Caliphate. Don't you know that? Don't you know that the Sultan he was a Caliphate for the Muslims? So you are mixing things up. And Erdogan he knew that he calling himself as an Ottoman Caliphate or let's say sorry Sultan. That will not change anything. He's already Sultan there. But the only thing can give him power is to take over Islamic countries. How many times you guys you saw me drawing to you in the map here? How many of you remember? Didn't we draw for you in the map what the plan is? The plan was of Trump, sorry, of Obama and Hillary Clinton and Erdogan. It's the Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, 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 let me let me choose a different map so we can explain again. The problem, you know, our knowledge is limited and we don't see the whole image. This is not about Syria. This is not about the Kurdish. This is bigger than what you think. This is have nothing to do actually even with Syria itself as a Syria. Syria is just a piece of land. It's necessity to establish the caliphate. So this is what the plan was. And I hope you will listen carefully. Turkey already is under the control of the Muslim Brotherhood. The party of Erdogan is the Muslim Brotherhood. Muslim Brotherhood party have many names, but all of them, they are Muslim Brotherhood. So Turkey is the Muslim Brotherhood under Erdogan. Obama, he hit al-Qazafi and he killed him and the only person Hillary Clinton she met with it was Muslim Brotherhood leader because the plan is we take al-Qazafi out we place the Muslim Brotherhood instead of him in the same time the Muslim Brotherhood we are able to take the election in Egypt Muslim Brotherhood in the same time the Muslim Brotherhood they started war in Syria and they were able in a very short time to occupy almost more than half of Syria so look what happened the Muslim Brotherhood this is the Syrian borders let us change the color we will use a blue The Muslim Brotherhood, their territory started growing and went all the way from here, 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 and here. And from this side, we have the Kurdish. They did not take this area. It was out of their control. Damascus, the capital, almost collapsed. And then the Orthodox Christians in Syria, they contacted the Patriarch of Moscow. And they have an urgent meeting because if the Muslim Brotherhood enter the Christian territory, which is in this area, let us highlight it with orange. This area full of Christians, especially this area here. The Christians there will be slaughtered. They are no match by number. They are no match by weapon. And they are no match in such a war. We are talking about hundreds of thousands of terrorists. And we are talking about a bunch of farmers who they are Christians. They are not really army. 
trying to defend their themselves. Putin immediately he decided to join the you know and the Assad he sent the Assad actually he used the Christians in Syria to protect himself. He used them. This is why he asked the, the, the Christians do something. So Putin already he have to make a decision. Either let the Muslim Brotherhood take over Syria and we will know we know what will happen to the Christians or he have to send his army immediately to do something and Putin immediately he sent his I think he sent in one day a 20 airplane and then they became 50 or 60 and he start destroying the terrorists left and right so from controlling all of this area let's highlight this this area All this area was controlled by those terrorists. All of this. You know? Now it's the opposite. If we go, if we go in the map, look what the Russian did. This is the Russian act. Look what happened. Oh, we zoom too much out. The red area now is under the control of the Assad regime. And when we say the regime, we mean the army which contained Christians. In the other groups, the only one have a Christians with them is the Kurdish. So you can say, in all of Syria right now, there's two groups have Christians fighters with them. The Red Territory, which now controlling most of Syria, and the Yellow Territory, which is the Kurdish and the Syrian Christians. So the plan was very simple. We will take over Syria and we took over Egypt already and we took over Libya already and we took over Tunisia that will establish a caliphate start from here from Tunisia Tunisia ruled by the Muslim Brotherhood Libya Egypt and then they were going to make a queue against the Saudi royal family the Muslim Brotherhood so the plan was to take Saudi Arabia too and Emirat and Qatar already is a Muslim Brotherhood and then they will continue all the way from here Syria and now we have a caliphate in case you do not know Jordan or almost 80% of Jordan are Muslim Brotherhood so it's going to take them two days to take over the government of Jordan and by doing that we have a huge territory contain millions of kilometers and a huge population and a lot of resource of oil and gas and money and Erdogan will be the caliphate Erdogan was not seeking he is not seeking to be just for Turkey the Muslim Brotherhood party is so clear they never seek Muslim Brotherhood is not a party for a country Muslim Brotherhood is a global party. Their target is to control the world. All right. But the one who destroyed their plan, and this is why Obama, and I believe strongly Obama, he is a member of the Muslim Brotherhood. Because if you remember when Hosni Mubarak was the president and he was a friend to USA for 30 years, the first one to deny him and to ask him to leave it was Obama when more than 30 40 million Egyptian they went in the street against the Muslim Brotherhood regime in Egypt who is the first one he asked those people to go home and to put the Muslim Brotherhood the president who remember anyone remember who is the one who threatened to put sanctions in Egypt who remember Obama did you ask yourself why Obama is so desperate to keep the Muslim Brotherhood ruling I just saw three four days ago a video and actually I have it downloaded secret meeting of the president of Egypt with the he with the, with the heads of of, uh, of his uh, council all of them are Muslim Brotherhood 
And in the meeting, they say, we, there's no question that our biggest enemy is USA and Israel. But they were talking about attacking Ethiopia because of the water problem. Our biggest enemy is Israel and America. This is in the meeting. So why Obama is sponsoring uh, Muslim, Mursi, the Muslim Brotherhood? Because he is a Muslim Brotherhood. And this is why Hillary Clinton, when she, after they killed al-Qazafi, they did not meet any group in Libya except Muslim Brotherhood leader, the leader of the Muslim Brotherhood in Libya. This is why the USA ambassador was killed. Other group, they felt, okay, they are going to take us away. They will kill us. And they will make the Muslim Brotherhood taken over. And the, the CIA was arming the Muslim Brotherhood by the command for sure of Obama. So the plan was so big because at the time of Obama, Muslim Brotherhood, they flourish. Obama, he put even in the White House, Muslim Brotherhood assistant. You saw that one, right, Red Admiral? Yeah. I mean, look how stupid they are. They filmed the secret meeting. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a stupid secret meeting like this? Look like Red Admiral, he saw with the video. They film it and they are saying our biggest enemy is USA and Israel. So why Obama, he take a side with them? It's obvious. And after they surrounder all those countries, who is the one will be surrounder is Israel. So the next attack will be against Israel. But look what happened. God is good. Their plan destroyed totally. The Saudi, they discover that the Muslim Brotherhood trying to take over and throw out the royal family in Saudi Arabia. So the king of Saudi Arabia and his family, at that time it was King Fahd, he ordered to arrest any member of the Muslim Brotherhood immediately. And they started cleaning the country from this organization. And this is why Saudi Arabia announced a while ago that the Muslim Brotherhood are terrorist group. Same as Emirat. The Emirati, they notice, and they, the, the intelligence, they, they got the news that the Muslim Brotherhood, they are trying to throw the royal family there, the prince of Emirat. So he did announce the Muslim Brotherhood as a terrorist organization, and he started arresting them left and right. So that move had a huge impact on the plan of Erdogan because now it is not only those who they are not Muslims against Muslim Brotherhood, the biggest Islamic country, as in, let us say, uh, not as population, as a, uh, as like an important Muslim country because this is where the Kaaba is, this is, you know, the biggest Islamic country as where the Kaaba is, now they are officially anti Muslim Brotherhood and this one side with them is Emirat and that is a lot of money so those countries they start pumping a lot of money to fight the Muslim Brotherhood everywhere and their money went all the way to, to Egypt and by the help of their money and the anger of the population that they notice that the Muslim Brotherhood they are nothing but a scam you see, when they were not in the office, they were talking about doing good, being good. If you let us govern you, we are not corrupt. Those are corrupt. Those are uh, infidels. Hosni Mubarak was not really a Muslim. He don't go to mosque to pray. We are the one. But they give them the office, and then they notice that they are more corrupt than anyone. So more than 30 millions, they went in the street against Morsi, the Muslim Brotherhood, and they kicked them out of Egypt. So now they lost Egypt. Then the Saudi, they send a lot of money to Libya to sponsor those who they are opposing the Muslim Brotherhood. And I think you heard of, about a guy, his name is General Haftar. General Haftar, he is supported by the Emirat and the Saudi. By their money, he was able to create an army. Actually, this is the national army, the official one, which means in a raid, the army of al Qazafi. So now, Libya, most of the country is under the control of the uh, ex-army of al Qazafi by the sponsor of Emirat and Saudi Arabia. There's a small territory here. Let us make different color. It's controlled by Muslim Brotherhood until now.
this is the area and it is sponsored by Turkey and by Qatar so let us say that Saudi Arabia Emirate Egypt today are fighting against Turkey and Qatar in Libya same in Syria the agenda is the same the Erdogan want to expand so he can control Syria he could not do that because Putin he kicked his ass and he put him in his place and he destroyed his plan and actually the reason now Erdogan is trying to take over little tiny area in Syria because he's trying to fix the disaster he had the plan not only destroyed he himself he is losing his future Erdogan he will never win the election again and you notice Erdogan now is a crying like a kid for 30 kilometers inside the borders only only 30 kilometers this is what he want he don't want more but why those 30 kilometers are important to Erdogan he is a trying just to say to the, the Turkish people you see okay I lost the war in Syria Putin they kick my kick his ass uh, the American kicked his ass uh, everybody kicked his ass but now I will create a new fiction victory I'm going to attack and I will have a zone of uh, it's called the safe zone for 30 kilometers inside Syria it's just to make himself look like he is victorious he did not lose but the fact he is he lost already the Turkish economy is a disaster tourism is a disaster he lost but by, by creating the war in Syria he lost the biggest income coming from Syria either by trade business or even by tourism and flight So Erdogan, he is already the biggest loser in this war. If we can say actually he is the only loser. And now he is trying to fix his reputation, but it's too late. So the game is dirty and this is why me myself actually the only one I can trust is Putin Putin is a man not like that does kids like uh, the president of France is crying for the Kurdish do something don't why you cry if you are really a man do something if they send anti anti-craft missiles to the Kurdish Erdogan he have no he cannot get in we cannot you see we don't have equal power we have an army of a country have a hundred more than a hundred million population and we have maybe uh, 80,000 90,000 fighters most of them they are women half of the of the Kurdish army and the Christian army they are women because they don't do what the Muslim do you know they allow Muslim women to join in the army to fight with them What do you think about the Syrian refugee in Lebanon and or Turkey? They will go back, or they are all families member of rebels who attacked Assad. Uh, you know, many people they went there just seeking security, and they can have a job. Not necessarily they are you know against anything. Uh, people are poor; they are seeking a better place to live. You know, war was eating every city, every town. This country is 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 screwed. This country they destroyed. The only areas is not destroyed is a Christian territory and Damascus the Christians because they live in the mountains and it's very a lot easier for them to defend their area was protected if you see like you can watch videos in YouTube about this this area this is a very high mountain area uh, uh, 10 guys can block the road for an army you cannot attack you know 
unless you have airplanes and those terrorists they don't have airplanes they have high ground actually this is why this air, uh, this area is a Christians because during the Ottoman Empire they could not conquer them and kill them and make them Muslims same as in the time of Muhammad the Christian they seek refuge to the high mountains so the high mountains this area here they could not actually even some cities where they are not high mountains like as as an example here I watch I watch a long video about about the war against the city here uh, I don't know why it is in the map I'm not really familiar with this uh, but I saw the video um, let us see It should be here in this area. Anyway, this uh, this city it's called Maharda. It is a, a, a city. It's 100% Christians. ISIS, Al Qaeda, Muslim Brotherhood. They launch an attack from every direction against them, and they could not get in. Why? Because those Christians they knew if those they get in, all of them they are women. They will be raped, and they will be slaughtering all the men. So they fight to death. It's not a fight to to escape because you cannot escape. That's it. They surrounded you. And this is another town too. They could not get in. With all the power, all the money is coming from Qatar. All the weapon is coming from Obama. All the the missiles, uh, high tech missiles, they could not get into a small town because those Christians they were fighting to death. And as usual, nobody helped the Christians in their war except the Russian. From all the world, as usual, by the way, this is not the first time. Always the Christians in the Middle East, the only one who helped them is the Russian. The West always take the side of the terrorist, always, in through the history. The West are support they support only Islamic terrorists. Always. Never supported the Christians, never care for them. And the only one who support them is the Russian. All of you, you know the, about the war in Shishenia, right? Why, why Russia have a big problem in Shishenia? It's because the Christians in the Middle East. When the Turkish started slaughtering Christians in the Middle East, and they killed millions, all of you, you heard about the Armenian genocide, but this is the history of this Islamic empire. They always do that. This is not the first time. Hundreds of thousands of Assyrian, hundreds of thousands of Chaldean, hundreds hundred of thousands of Syrian Christians. You see, Assyrian are not the same as Syrian. People might be confused, but all are Christians. Armenian, they slaughter millions. The only one move, the only one in the whole world, not America. It's not America who did help. It's not France. It's not England. The only one who did move, it was the Russian. This is why I have I have a special place for the Russian people. Me, myself, I have a special place for the Russian people. They went in a very aggressive war just to stop the war against the Christians. They attacked the north, the, 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 the south border from their side of the Turkish Empire, and he said, Stop there, we will stop here. And now Syria will be gone. If 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 it is to to, to the American, Syria today is ISIS country. Because you see what Obama trying to do says okay uh, before they was trying to say we want to replace Al Qaeda by the Muslim Brotherhood because Al Qaeda they were the most ugly image right now they forget about Al Qaeda Al Qaeda is not a problem another another issue just to show you how hypocrite are, uh, is a Trump he is saying that he finished ISIS what about Al Qaeda don't you want to finish Al Qaeda do you see this green area here do you see it this is Al Qaeda how come Trump is his finish he's done suddenly America don't care about destroying Al-Qaeda no more we finish with Isis but what about Al-Qaeda 
This area here, all this area, is Al Qaeda. So how would Trump he claimed that he finished? Finished what exactly? All this territory is Al Qaeda. Hundreds of thousands of Qaeda fighters, armed and sponsored by Erdogan. Do you see how they fool you? We finish ISIS, you finish nothing. Still Al-Qaeda is there, protected by Erdogan. Each time the Russian and the Syrian army, they start to go in, Erdogan start to crying. He start causing problems. He called the Russian. You know, the Russian, they have many business deal with, the, with, the, with Erdogan. He tried to use that. This is why Erdogan, he bought the 400 missiles. <clears throat> he do not need them. I mean, he's a he's a member in the NATO. What the 400 missiles for? Who's going to attack you? Why he spent two billion dollars? He's just trying to make the Russian not to go aggressive on him. He's buying their, let us say, uh, uh, their their terrorists. Don't go aggressive on me. Coptic Orthodox Trump is your God. Well, no, the one is your God is is uh, is Muhammad, and we never trusted the Trump, so 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 we can say he failed us. And secondly, I am not an op uh, or, or Coptic Orthodox. You idiot! Get out of here! I always this is not the first time I speak against uh, I, I speak against everyone who do wrong. I don't care if it's Trump. I spoke against Netanyahu, against Trump, uh, no, always. People are my witness. And I'm not a Coptic. To, to be a Coptic, you have to be Egyptian. You are a certified donkey. Anyone who hear me speak Arabic, he will notice in two seconds that I cannot be Coptic. Trump is, uh, is in, we never said that Trump is a good guy. We know he's a womanizer. We know he's a he's a he's a party boy. We knew. We did not vote for him because he is Saint Trump. <laughs> and we are not crying, by the way. We are just telling the truth. Crying for what? Actually, what happened in Syria? It was a big victory for the Christians at the end of the day. Because now. The Christians in Syria, in all this red territory, they are kings. They are not second-hand citizens no more. And thanks to Russia. Next Christmas, go down to Syria and see how the Christmas tree in everywhere, every place and people, they are praying to Jesus in the middle of the street. And the president of Syria, he is the one who light the Christmas tree for the Christians. So we are crying. We are victorious. The cities which destroyed 99.99% is Muslim cities, not Christian cities. If you go to Christian cities, you don't even see a bullet in the wall. It's like heaven, actually. I saw videos. I don't know if I can share a video with you. I'm afraid if we share a video, somebody will complain, say this is his video. But if you look at the Christian territory in these areas, you will not believe it how beautiful it is. And there is nothing, there is no war, there is nothing there. Heaven. Like there is tons of videos actually, but I don't know if I can share any. But anyway, uh, you can search for like a Christian valley in Syria. Uh, there is many cities. Uh, as somebody from Syria, he can share some names with you here. You will see tons of them. Very beautiful. 
and the war did not destroy them. The war did not even touch them. They were protected. The really the one who paid the price is the Muslims. The real one who paid the heavy price is the Muslims. The Christians, by the grace of the Lord, they were protected. Like, yes, we have casualty. We cannot say that we are like 100%. But compared to what happened to others, we can't even mention it. And Erdogan, Erdogan, he will lead Turkey into destruction. Actually, I'm very grateful for Erdogan. Anyone knows why? I'm very thankful that Erdogan is there. Who knows why? Is a Christian prince saint judging everyone? That's very foolish of you to say. Jesus says, from their fruits, you shall know them. So we are allowed to judge. And you are an official and idiot, according to the teaching of Jesus. Because from their fruits, we shall know them. So we judge the fruits. I do not know Erdogan. I never met him. Jesus forbid me to say to you, you are stupid. But I can say to you, because the one, the Bible says, the one who don't understand the wisdom of the Lord, he is a fool. And you are a fool. Yes, we can judge. Judgment is wrong if we decide who go to hell, who go to heaven. It's, if it's me, act like as if I'm God. This is not what we do. Every every Christian should judge. Not only judge, he have to judge. Start judging from even when he go to sleep, he judge. You judge yourself too. What you did, what's wrong, what was good. You have to judge the fruits and the fruit in the front of you. This is always a fruit. We, are, we don't know people. We're, we're not talking about individual. This is the fruit. I do not know Donald Trump. I never have coffee with him. He's not my personal friend. I'm judging the fruits. Yeah, if you judge, if you judge that the judgment there is about, you know, people say this guy, he is going to hell, this guy is going, yeah, this is not your job, this is the job of, uh, but I can say still, even there, I can say the one who don't believe in Jesus will go to hell. I made a judgment, but this is not my judgment, this is the judgment of the Lord. But the judgment of the fruit, I should do, not only I am, uh, uh, I am capable of doing it, I should do it, it's a duty. How we know them? From their fruit. How we will know the Messiah when he come back? How we will recognize him? We have to make a judgment. Because Jesus said many, they will come and say, I am the Christ, I am the Messiah. Messiah appear here, appear there. Okay, how we will know which one is true? You have to make judgment. Do you think Jesus is the same as Muhammad? He says to you, put your brain under your pillow? Sleep on it? No. He said, search the books, read the books and the truth, and you will find the truth and the truth will set you free. In order to find the truth, you have to make a judgment. But this judgment is not you acting as God. That is forbidden in Christianity. What you notice here, that we get a bunch of fools, they were trying to teach us wisdom. But they are the same as, a, as a somebody, he ate too much beans, and he thinks that the gas is coming from his bum is a perfume. No, it is not perfume, it is farting. Are you allowed to judge between perfume and farting? You will say no. We should not judge. No, we are allowed. Hmm? Yes, the Bible says if you don't believe in me, you go to hell. It's all over the Bible. Does the Bible say if you don't believe in me, you go to hell? So what the Bible is about then? A manual to install a table? I mean, sometimes you read, sometimes you read the comment. You, you feel those people they are taking cocaine, heroin. I don't know what they are taking. Does the Bible says if you don't believe in me, you go to hell? It's all over the Bible. Doesn't Jesus says I am the way and the only way? Nobody can go to my Father but by me. Where, where, where Jesus says that? <laughs> Oh boy. Kathleen, how are you, Kathleen? Thank God I'm not married. 
All right. So, uh, use your brain before you open your mouth. Don't let don't let your tongue speed you. Use your brain. The whole. So, what the Bible is about? If if you go to heaven, regardless if you believe in Jesus or not. So, what this Bible for? And who is Jesus then? He came to fix your car. What do you think? Jesus is a technician. He come to fix your uh, your uh, your electricity. So who is this Jesus then? And you, you you have a Christian name. No one is president. He have the gut to speak about Jesus over Christmas. That's a lie. All of them they do, including even Obama. I can show you his speech. Trump, Obama, Clinton, all of them. But you know we don't we don't care if those people because those people they are politician. They say those things is just for the sake of. Uh, politics and you know what I'm not going to believe in Jesus unless a Trump he says Jesus <laughs> and by the way you your president always they praise Muhammad but still Muhammad is an idiot what you can do about it can you prove me wrong so what, what if Erdogan says Muhammad is the most amazing person okay your president Erdogan he says that but we can prove in two seconds that Muhammad is the idiot of the village. Do you want to challenge me? Are you willing to challenge me? Here we go. Let me do it in two seconds. Why I want to do it in two minutes? In two seconds. Here we go. Let me show you the idiot of the village. I can't even see. Hold on. All right. <laughs> this is your prophet. The doctor Muhammad, the idiot of the village. Even Erdogan did not say such a stupid thing. The messenger of Allah said, the man water is thick and white, and the woman water is thin and yellow. Which one of them comes first? The baby will be the, the, the father. <laughs> oh boy. What do you think? I don't want to see somebody coming in my chat call himself Coptic Orthodox, Catholic, Protestant. I believe that those people are devilish trying to divide us. We are Christians here. Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, we don't care. All of us, we follow Christ. Anyone who will come with such a name, I will block you. Do you see it? The, do you see the idiot of the village? He think that your mama, if she have orgasm, by the way, do you look like your mama or look like your baba? If you look like your mama, that means your mama, she have orgasm first. The wisdom of the prophet. <laughs> Where is the guy? Okay. Dying to know is the Hadith Muhammad said he is himself don't know what if he is going to go to heaven after death. Yeah. He said in the Hadith, let me try to find it for you. Even though this is out of our topic. Right. You see it? And here the Muslim, they have false translation. Look what they say. There is none amongst you who is his deed alone would attain him salvation. doesn't say that. The word alone is a fabrication. This is the Arabic. Anyone who speaks Arabic, he can see. There is no alone. He says, Qala, Qala Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, where is alone? Where is alone? 
Uh, it's a long translation. <laughs> None of you, his his deed will save him. He will attain him salvation. That's mean everything Muhammad said in the Quran is a lie because Muhammad in the Quran says those who do good deeds they will go to heaven and they have no worry. And I told you why. Here we don't want people to come with the Catholic name, Protestant name, Orthodox names. Can't you be a Coptic without saying you are wherever? You don't like it? Don't come here. This is my rules. Here, all of us, as a Christians, we have one name, brothers and sisters. I don't want to hear Catholic brother. I don't want to hear Protestant brother. I don't want to hear this is this is, does not belong to Jesus. Those are names you created. You like them? Stay there. Don't come here. Is that clear? If you don't like it, go. Don't complain. Don't sit in my lap, play with my beard, and say why well, your beard is tough. It's my beard. Go open your own broadcast and call your name whatever you want. Call yourself John Spond. No, we said that many times, my friend. You should know. Anyway. So do you see here Muhammad saying that no salvation by your deeds? So what is the salvation? How the salvation will come? Who's a Muslim want to tell me? How the salvation? They ask him, even you, Prophet? He said, even me. Unless Allah, he grant me burden and peace. Burden, sorry, over my sin. Do you see it? No problem, my friend. You are welcome. But you see, this is a Christian prince. I'm tough. This is how I am, what I can do. Thank God I am not the president of USA. The world will look, will look totally different now. Trump, he will Trump. If I am if I am the president of USA, Erdogan will be hiding under his couch, under the skirt of his wife. And I assure you that. <clears throat> I carry so much in my shoulder my friend we are Christians the Messiah he carry in his shoulder his cross so you consider opening a chat room is really a lot of stress we Christian we saw nothing rest yet of, of stress go and see our grandfather go and see the Apostle who been slaughtered feed been fed to animals to tigers what a Christian Prince is doing now compared with those people did nothing sitting behind the computer he have a, a, a cup of tea in front of him I have nothing in my shoulder. I am. I, I. You cannot compare it to anyone. This is not as. Uh, see, the stress is. The stress will be, if you don't share the truth, that will be stress because, you 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 take it with you. You know, you don't take it out, and you are a coward to say it, and you don't dare to say it. So what do you do? You put it in your heart and you sleep with it. I don't do that, so I have no stress. The only stress I have is talking too much, and sometimes I get silly people around me. The most stress I have is silly people. I, I hate stupidity. What I can do, I lose my patience with it. I have, by the way, I have a great patient. If you look at how much patient I have when I talk to people, but sometimes stupidity kill you. I mean, it's like a bullet in your head. You talk about potatoes, people talk about tomato. You were talking about why you like Erdogan? Look at this question. I am I, I am talking why I like Erdogan. Hmm. What do you want to say to this now? <laughs> yeah, I'm dealing with it for years and I will deal with it for, for many years to come as long as the Lord he want me to do it. But this is not really a big deal. For me, the stress goes when I see Tens of thousands of Muslims leaving Islam. You don't know how many Muslims leave Islam after by watching my videos. The video I just made today, do you know how many Muslims they will watch it in Indonesia alone? You will not believe it. My videos in Indonesia are number one hit against Islam. To the point, Indonesian newspaper talking about me, TV, I mean, even churches. 
hundreds of thousands of Muslims watching my videos if every video watched by 600 700 thousand if you only succeed to make a hundred of them leave Islam come, come to Christ that is a big victory That is a big victory. If I go right now, <clears throat> let me show you. You know, the Indonesian people, they are uh, translating my, uh, my videos to their language. And when you look at the numbers of uh, how many people are I need to find some the account I don't save them but there's tons of them translating you will see like a hundred thousand five hundred thousand six hundred thousand I mean the numbers are already amazing uh, and where is the where is the Indonesian anyway people they come post for you but if you see the number, you will not believe it. Well, here we go. We are looking for Indonesian account. We cannot find any now. <laughs> Usually, YouTube it's like show them, show me those uh, uh, accounts. Even I'm not looking for them. <clears throat> Maybe if I did not type. Let us see. Anyway, if any of you knows those Indonesian account, you will see. Maybe this one. Let us see. Yeah, look at this one. As an, I just found one as an example. This one is posted uh, September 27. 2019 how many days ago how many days ago September 27 today we are October 10 so like this is two weeks the total numbers of a view is 292 thousand do you see it 15 days this is just an example I'm just looking you know And Indonesian people are copying my videos. Look at this one. 707,000. Do you see it? 700 and 707,000 view. This one, 20,000. 84,000. This is not my video. Uh... I don't know if this is my video too. Those are just uh, suggestions, not like a, this one, 315,000. This one, 152,000. This one, 40,000, 40, 16. This one, 191,000. 200, 223,000. 81,000. 265,000. 677,000 you see so the 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 we you know we created a revolution in Indonesia this is the biggest Islamic country this is the biggest Islamic country in the world this is not just a Muslim country <clears throat> no no it's not his intention I'm not saying uh, uh, we have a great saying uh, I'm not saying that uh, Trump intention to see the Kurdish being killed but he's just a boy you know he wouldn't win the election and he had many problems and he do not know what to do he don't think 
you know I mean a decision like this you don't make a decision over the phone or speaking with the foreign president you meet with your cabinet you discuss you see what's right you know you don't make a decision over phone but obviously he don't care too you see he, he this is showing you he's careless it's like okay well okay we will draw them okay no problem come come this would happen but don't he knew that okay what what the Turkish is coming coming for are they going to buy falafel from the Kurdish he knew what they will do but he's careless he's selfish he's just a little boy who sees something in the display he want to have it so we have the Kurdish for the last eight years we played with them and now we throw them away this is what we are against All right. Yeah, it is election exactly. This is just for the sake of election. This guy he is trying to win the election. And for the sake of election they do anything. As simple as that. This is why we have to put our trust in the Lord, not in a man. Men are corrupt. They lie. Uh, what was can you give the link of Muhammad body DK please okay that's not a big deal actually you see we are very lucky that the Muslims they help us to fight Islam because those sites many years ago I was fighting Islam but without those I have to read in Arabic translate in Arabic if you go there is a there is a video of mine appear in the Iranian government TV if you look at that video you will see the screen look really weird because I was holding my camcorder I bought a camcorder cost me a lot of money because at that time it was something very expensive to buy I hold it in my hand facing the screen and I record my screen by the camcorder and then to, to upload the file it take a couple of hours and then to download the file, we, at that time we used to have DSL connection very slow. The phone, ding, 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 and then the phone doesn't even work sometimes. You know, so imagine how much work it take. We are lucky now. Look, we, we are getting Muhammad busted by the help of Muslims. The Lord is amazing. Okay, you want the hadith about? Uh, uh, Oh, you want the hadith of Muhammad body DK? Uh, okay, but that one is in Arabic. Okay, hold on. But we will give it anyway. <clears throat> you can use Google Translation. Let us find it. You see, if people they are really concentrating with me, I gave this link many times. All right. قد ربى بطنه The only thing I can depend on is my uh, memory All right. See, I'm just trying to find uh, an official Islamic website. I don't want to give just any website as reference.
<clears throat> I found a website, but it's not opening. Let us see. It's very slow. By mistake, I apologize. All right. Mm hmm. I'm just trying. I'm reading the book. This is a book of At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra. This is Mesha Amen. Okay, this is the hadith number. I will post the link for you. I hope it's going to go through the hadith number 2235, the book of At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra. Uh, if you count from here, one line, two line, three line, four line, the line number five. This one. He said, فقال العباس إن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يأسن كما يأسن البشر. The Prophet of Allah, the Messenger of Allah, he stinks the same as a human being they stink. He was asking them to bury him. And this is the link for those who ask for it. We can find more links, you know. All right. Did I answer your question? Again, this is the book of At Tabaqat Al Kubra. I will type it for you in the screen so you can pronounce it in English. Al. Uh oh, type in Arabic. Tabaqat. Al Kubra Hadith number two two three five. The Prophet he stink after he died. The link is too long, so I didn't open. Did not open. Maybe if you copy the link and you try to shorten it. In Google, shorten doesn't open. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> I have difficulty myself to open it. I think the website is slow. So let us do this. Uh, okay, let me let me look for another one. Hold on. Sahih ibn Habban. Well, look like this is the only official site. There's, all of those are site, but they are not really official. And they are not quoting the book. They are just uh, talking about it. I don't want to just uh, an article. Yeah, they are not quoting. Let us see this one. <clears throat> Let us see the different hadith. Uh, 
Uh, there's another hadith that says that the prophet his belly became big you know from guys which mean he start farting okay here we go this is the book the history of the, the city of Damascus uh, this, this is all our books uh, volume number nine the history of Damascus volume number 63 Al Kamil for Dafa the Rijal, value number seven. Uh, there's many, many, uh, many books saying the same story. Let us see this one. This is the book in Google. It says, Wakan and Nabiyu. Turka Yoman Walayla. He they left the prophet for a day and a, a day and a night. And his belly grow. His stomach grow from the gas. This is normal for anyone who die, you know, because the food you ate, the last meal you ate, the bacteria will start making gas, and because you are dead now, it's going to be stuck inside your stomach, and your stomach will start to growing. When Thanat Khun Sarahu and his uh, and the, his fingers like when the person he died, his fingers they uh, they are like holding something strong, you know, like they don't they don't relax, you know. So and then he says, and this is the same the same story he says. Uh, Abdullah al Bahi قال إن رسول الله لما مات لم يدفن حتى ربى بطنه وانثنت خنصره. The Prophet when he died, we did not bury him until his stomach became so big and his Fingers they shrink. I don't know what uh, what the word in English. Like they bend, they bend. You know, you know what happened to the dead person if you die. And this is the link. Let me pause the link. Let's see if it's going to work. I hope so. This is Google Books. But the problem it is uh, Google Google Books is even way longer. Let us see if we shorten uh, Google uh, shorten link. Let us see shorten link. <coughs> Official blog. Where is the link? I search for Google shorten link. I get this one. What is that? Shorten, okay. I know I'm searching in Google for shorten link. It is give me articles. What is that? Okay, here we go. Uh, it says I have to sign in, so I cannot use it unless I sign in. Hmm. And I click to sign in. It says not found. That's weird. Okay, let's try this website here. All of them, they are saying login. I mean, what happened now? Okay, let's see this one. All right, let's try this one. I did shorten the link. You tell me if it's work. Ah. Copy. Uh, it looks like this is a scam. It's not working. I don't know what to do. You know what? I'm going to post the link in the in the in the comment. All right. And what I can do after we finish, you will see it in the comment. I give up. Even though it's long, but what we can do. <coughs>
say inshallah why I want to say inshallah first of all Allah if you say inshallah Allah never answer as an example the Muslims and ISIS they were fighting the American inshallah we will have victory inshallah we will defeat the American ISIS are gone and there's more than 60,000 of them are prisoner right now in the hand of the Kurdish alone and Allah never will right what are you thinking about uh, sacrament like baptism e first I don't know what the second word my friend excuse my English I need to search it uh, the Christian ceremony uh, during the last supper yeah well you know uh, isn't it the Messiah himself he did bat you know he baptized correct guys did the Messiah himself get baptism so why we Christian we will not so yes we Christian we should get baptism because by baptism the Holy Spirit will be within us same time you will announce yourself you clean yourself from all the previous life and you announce yourself the same as the Lord himself he announced that this is my only begotten son this is my only begotten son so by baptism you will recognize in public the Lord and the Lord will recognize you so yes we should do baptism because baptism is a blessing and uh, uh, the, our Lord the Messiah himself he did that all right now the second question you were asking about uh, what is the name of the person so I can put his comment in can you post your comment the one who asked me the question again please but without donation don't make donation again I'm not answering you by the way because you made donation I answer everybody we don't treat people here differently and I'm, I'm very grateful for those who support us but as you know actually most of the time those who make donation I don't even read what they are saying we are not here we are not doing business I don't see your text okay here we go I found it again okay this is from CGT I think that somebody is posting it what is your opinion of the sacrament of baptism we asked about that I think the second word you mean is like uh, the um, what they call it to take uh, the, the 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 bread is that is that what you mean is that what second word mean English is not my first uh, my first uh, the, the com, com, uh, community okay yeah I mean uh, uh, isn't it Jesus says do this to remember me so why we will not do it isn't it Jesus who broke the bread and he says do this to remember me so yes we have to do it why not we do it to remember him we remember what he did to us so this is was a command by, by the Messiah himself and who I am to say to you don't do it I am no one if he says so we do so uh, the other question is marriage I'm not sure what do you mean by marriage and yes I am baptized for sure um, I think here you mean the Eucharistia Eucharistia I think this is the original name yeah I, I know I did maybe thousands of time I did I don't know how many time uh, but I don't know about marriage what do you mean by marriage if I go to the church and there is a you see not always you take this uh, this uh, uh, the bread not every time you go to the church because you have to be really in a in a in a position where you are like spiritually you are really in a very very like let us say in the best of your best of your days not every time you go to the church to do it you see because for me this is a special occasion and now I'm taking a bread which is supposedly equal to the bread which the Messiah he gave us with his body so I don't if I don't feel I am really clean enough and here clean is not about taking a shower like the Muslim do Jesus said it clearly it's not what go in your mouth will make you dirty but what come from your mouth 
so if I don't feel I am ready to receive such a gift then I should not take it which means let us say if I don't feel like really I deserve it I should not take it you know what I mean so you have you have to uh, to be a person who deserve it if you don't think you deserve it don't take it We don't mention to me my friend the Catholic Church again guys remember in my channel we don't mention Catholic we don't mention Orthodox I don't care what Catholic says I don't care what Orthodox says I don't care what Protestant says I am talking to you as a person who for the Messiah if you want to discuss Catholic go to the Catholic if you discuss Protestant go to the Protestant I follow what Jesus said not what a bishop said I'm not a bishop follower I'm not a Pope follower I'm not a Protestant for I follow Christ anyone else doesn't doesn't count for me any name anyone doesn't matter how big how small all right and actually you yourself you should be the same we as a Christian we should remember what happened is that most of us we remember the church we go to we forgot that we belong to the Messiah not to a church name the church is us it's not a building it's not a name it's not a title the church is not Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. The church is us who believe in Christ. All of us, we are one body, and he is our head. He is the head of the church. So always be united by the Messiah so we can be united as one body as a Christians. Those who hate Christ don't care if you are a Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. They don't care. Do you think Muhammad he would treat you differently because you are a Protestant or Catholic or Orthodox? He don't care. The Quran call us one name, all of us. So we need to be smarter and refrain from using those titles. Do you think, you know, ask yourself a very simple question. Do you think the Messiah will be happy that one day you will say to him, I was this and was that? You should say to him, I was a Christian. This is the, this is the only name is given to us in the Bible. So why you bring to yourself another name? There's no other name better than the name of Christ. Do you have any? Are you proud to call yourself a Christian or to call yourself Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox? Christian, for this is a name coming from Christ. And there's no name better than his name. So I will not accept to call myself anything except the name of Christ. All right. Christian Prince, please, I want to win soul, win one soul. So who's holding you? Go ahead. There's seven billion. Go ahead. All right, nobody is holding you. My friend, the first people he Trump he sold is the Christians there. There's tens of thousands of converted Christians, and the, you, know, you know what Erdogan will do to them. And Erdogan, you know, uh, okay, so Trump he he consider a human being are not worthy just because he have election promise. That's the whole story. So we we look at a human as the election. So we allow the criminal to come with his army, huge army. We are talking about the Ottoman army. A country have a hundred million population. All what Trump he needed to do to keep the fifty soldiers. Nobody's asking him to do anything. You see, he's lying too. He says it costs a lot of money, but he did not take them away. They are there still. He just asked them to move so they can open the door to the to to he, he did not withdraw any not even a soldier. What about you leave them there until you withdraw totally? So you guys you have to be honest, you have to think carefully about what you do. I voted for this guy, and next year I have to vote for him too, because this is the only donkey we have. But he's certified donkey. All the excuses he gave, it's false. This guy just a little boy. 
Erdogan called him on the phone. Come on, be open for me. Those are terrorists, are helping. No, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we'll be open for you. You don't make a decision like this. Not over a phone call. You, you, you meet with your council. You meet with your government. You bring them, everybody, what you should do. Life of hundreds of thousands of people cannot be decided by a phone call. This guy, he think he is, he is, uh, he is, he is uh, maybe his God. He make his decision from his head without thinking. Let me ask you a question. If the one who was in north of Syria, there are 1,000 Jew, Trump, he will withdraw? No. Is that correct? Be honest with me. If there's only 1,000 1, only citizen who they are from Israel, you know what, 10, he will not withdraw. So why the tens of thousands life of Christians and Muslims doesn't count? Because he's a hypocrite. All what he care for is the election. And we, the Arab Christians, we are not the one who will make him win or lose. And neither, neither the Kurdish. But the Israeli, they do. They have a lot of power in USA. He don't care for them too. He just went to end the election. Those are people doing politics. They don't care for the life of others. For him, it's all about business, nothing personal. That is the truth. <clears throat> that is the truth, my friend. And many of us are naive. We think that Trump is, a, you know, the best guy. He is better than the Democrat, yes, but he is not not good. This guy, he he, he betray. He betray all those who the the you know those Kurdish. You use them for eight years fighting ISIS, and now you dump them. What does that mean? Those people they all hate each other. So what does that? So what does that mean? What does that mean? So you let the strong slaughter the weak. Well, isn't it the case between the Israeli and the, their neighbors? So why you don't do the same with Israel? Say I don't have, I don't care. Hey, I'm going to go take. A, I'm not going to support Israel no more. Those people they hate each other for hundreds of years. How come it's okay to do it with the Kurdish? It's not okay to do it with someone else. Hypocrites. This is what politician is about. He's a liar, <clears throat> and the naive they will believe it. And look what he said in his tweet, just to show you. How this guy is a, is a foolish. Not only he's a he's, he's officially stupid. <clears throat> the Christians churches they start having meeting, having a lot of the, using the pressure, trying to make him change his mind before it's too late. So look what he came with this. We have one of the three choices: send thousands of troops, and win militarily, hit, or militarily hit Turkey very hard financially. Uh, and uh, and with sanctions or mediate deal between the Turkey and the Kurdish now you want to mediate where you've been all those uh, after you open the borders and they start shooting and killing now you are because now he heard the news that the Christians are extremely upset from his behavior see how he, he cared for election he heard that all the Christians churches in the USA are extremely upset and they are having meeting against him now. So now he said to them, give me one of the three choices. Either I'm going to send an army to fight Turkey, and this is something will never happen because we have thousands of soldiers inside Turkey. Uh, or we destroy Turkey financially. And so what is that we'll do? It's too late. People will be killed, slaughter.
so what what uh, what the Trump he did he opened the door for the Mohammedan army to slaughter those who left Islam as simple as that plus the Christians who they are there it's in the front of you I kiss the head the forehead of everyone of the Mohammedan army and then the Muslims in Turkey, they, they put comment down, down there says, soon we will enter Israel. And look, the comment have 473 like. This is supporter of Erdogan. Soon we will enter Israel. Yeah, my friend, by the time you back them up, they might be dead, all of them. We are talking about Turkey who have 100 million population. If those people attack throwing rocks only is enough to kill the, the Kurdish just by throwing rocks. You see, there's no match. Erdogan, he brought 80,000 Syrian terrorists from the Mujahideen, Al-Qaeda and ISIS plus the Turkish army. So we are talking about what? They are no match. There is no match, and they have airplanes, and they have the most advanced weapon of the NATO. This is a big, big crime Trump he committed against the Kurdish and the Christians. And this guy, he is now going for election. He have a speech right now as we speak. In, in Minnesota, I think. He don't care. There's nothing happening. People are slaughtered there, and he is going for election speech. Instead of holding an urgent meeting with the cabinet to see what we should do, okay, maybe I made a fast decision that is correct. No. He is going to different place, to different state, and now a lot of people waiting for him, and now he is, look, this is, people are waiting for his majesty. They cannot wait to they cannot wait to see the idiot. But my friend, what we can do? We we don't have choices. This is the donkey we have in the office, and if we don't vote for him, they will get us a mule. So choose donkey or a mule. Choose one. Either part, they are stupid. And you see, Erdogan is not hiding his agenda. He's saying this is an Islamic army. And not only that, before he, he launched the attack, he recited the chapter of Al-Fatih from the Quran, the chapter of the victory, the one where it says that Muhammad, when he started killing all the people around him, they convert to Islam by waves. By what? By waves. And for sure they convert and convert or die this is the chapter he did read it's three verses when comes the help of Allah the victory of Allah she not the help of Allah to you Muhammad against your enemy we saw people entering the religion of Allah by crowds yeah, because they are die or that's it. They lost. Who want to convert to Islam? If you don't convert, we kill you. Everybody convert. And this is exactly what this mission is about. They want to convert the Kurdish and the Christians, and they want to make the, the, the territory there, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Erdogan territory. And Erdogan, if he get in, he will never leave. Unless the Russian force him. The only hope I have is the Russian. But the problem is the the stupid leaders of the Kurdish and the Christian there, they did not have a good relationship with the Russian. So now they are asking the Russian, please help us. Said, so now, why, 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 why us? All this time you were taking the side of the American. All this time you shoot at us. All this time and now you, okay, help yourself. I don't blame the Russian. Eight years you are with the American. 
and today the American they sold you they sold you to the devil but I hope that the Christian leaders meeting in USA which happened as we I know I heard the news I hope they will force Trump to make a decision very soon I'm hoping maybe by tonight maybe morning more morning something will happen I, I pray he will call Erdogan and will say to him stop that as you are until now Erdogan he, he could not really accomplish a lot because the Christian and the Kurdish fighters are fighting really I mean they, they are fighting for their life so we will see what tomorrow will come with I hope that this crazy guy Trump he will change his mind otherwise this mascara nothing can stop it those people are no match couple of thousands half of them they are women holding guns 50% of the Kurdish fighters and Christian fighters there are women they are small in number they are no match Russia is part of the NATO look at this guy this guy he come with the new news Russia is part of the NATO have you ever heard I mean here this is the only thing make me make me uh, lose my patience Russia is part of the NATO <laughs> I better go <laughs> I better go before I jump from the seventh floor <laughs> I don't know I don't know what people eat I don't know what people drink I don't know what people are about but the human being is really something Russia is part of the NATO okay thank you for the knowledge my friend uh, this is a news I never heard it before but I just learned that from you look like um, I was awake like that Quran mentioned the 300 the the, the, the 300 years where people sleep for 300 years maybe I was sleep for the last 300 years and you are just the one who have a news we never heard of all right what we can do what we can do uh, anyway uh, I want to say thank you guys for being here this video will not stay because I'm here just to share my opinion about this issue and again I will say to you from now I'm going to vote for Trump next year but as I said it's not because he is the best but he is better than the rest if we don't vote for him we have the Democrat which is really mentally they those people they are high with the drugs one guy he want to forbid the beef the other women she want us to eat our children the other one he want to forbid cars driving uh, taking donkeys I mean pff, yeah crazy stuff so we have no choice either Trump or the madness of the Democrat so we have to vote for Trump so I want to say thank you guys for being here uh, by the way the previous video which I deleted from my channel you can find it search the title anyone remember the title of the previous video uh, let me post a link for you hold on uh, I, as I told you always because videos they don't stay in my channel but there's video there's people who uh, post it immediately in their channels you can subscribe to them uh, Allah could not heal Muhammad how okay here we go so this is like this see many people they are posting the video I just made I will give you the one appear in the top of the list in the search here we go you can subscribe to this uh, brother here I don't know him I don't know any of those who they are posting my videos but I'm very grateful for their work Oh, look like I got still the link of the book. Hold on. This is the video I made today, which is deleted. Feel free to watch it, download it, and share it with your friends. All right. Need the Indonesian cover? I don't have Indonesian cover. I did not make a cover for it. So, thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. 
And forgive me, uh, please, if I was like tough on with some of you, but uh, sometimes I lose my patience. Uh, you know, people say crazy stuff sometimes, and you don't know. I mean, too much, too much. We are here to fight ignorance. We are not here to fight. We are not here to fight each other. When I'm wrong, correct me. When I we are wrong, I have a duty to correct you if I see it wrong. So. Uh, uh, um, I, I'm not saying I am smarter than you. I know more than you, but there is things. Obviously, as they say, like they say, uh, give the bread to the the bakery. Uh, you know, there is things you, you you cannot discuss with me because this is my profession. Let us say, as a study all my life, there is other things you can disagree with me, because simply maybe you know maybe this is your profession. All right, like if you are an English teacher, I cannot argue with you about what is wrong. If I type some words in wrong pronunciation or a grammar because obviously you know better than me so nothing wrong with being ignorant in something because we cannot be a person who knows everything but this is what I do and I spend my life studying this cult all right next topic is Muslims and sins no problem we will see Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until I see you soon again, maybe tomorrow if I can, Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and Erdogan will lose. Just count and you will see. He don't have to lose now, today, tomorrow. But his, 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 his defeat will be amazing. It's just a matter of time. Count my words and you will see. Thank you and see you soon.